you're thinking about uh, cholecystectomies, which are gallbladder removals, and appendectomies, which are appendix removals, which are both very common surgeries here at Copley, uh, they really present really different uh, challenges, uh, at least diagnostically. Uh, appendicitis is almost always diagnosed from the emergency room with a, with a CAT scan. And part of modern medical care is that almost every time we take someone to the operating room to take out their appendix, they actually have appendicitis. When I was a young doctor, this was not exactly true. And in fact, about 20% of the time, the patients didn't have appendicitis uh, at all. So I, I think that's a definite improvement. Also, when I was a young doctor, appendixes really weren't taken out laparoscopically at all. And so once again, people were left with about a month recuperation and the chance of having small bowel obstructions and other complications from an, old, from an open surgery uh, really for the rest of their lives. Whereas laparoscopically, just like with hernias, you get back to your life and work very quickly and there's really no significant risk of bowel obstructions. So that's improved a lot. Uh, cholecystectomies, gallbladder removals, uh, on the other hand, are much more difficult to diagnose. Troubles with your gallbladder present in a lot of different ways. It's almost always some sort of pain or discomfort in your upper abdomen, either in the middle or leaning a little bit to the right side. Uh, it almost always has something to do with eating, but uh, there are many different variations of how your gallbladder can trouble you. Sometimes it's gallstones that are the source of it. Sometimes it's just that the gallbladder is just not functioning correctly. And, and they both really present with very different symptoms and require entirely different uh, diagnostic uh, tests and thinking. <laughs>